right. All right, so thank you for taking time out of your day to speak with us, Dr. Hamilton. Um, would you care to introduce yourself and give us a brief background on uh, your experience in cataract Excellent. and refractive surgery? Absolutely. First of all, thanks everyone to, for coming on and joining us on Facebook, on UCLA EYE. Uh, we're going to be talking about a brand new procedure today. Uh, it's called SMILE. We performed the first cases uh, in California, right here on this laser, last Saturday. Uh, SMILE is a, a new laser procedure to correct nearsightedness. Um, it's similar to LASIK, but it has some differences. We actually only use one laser to perform the procedure. Um, Austin is here. He's going to be helping me out with some of the audiovisual. And what I thought I'd start out with is to mention the fact that LASIK and PRK have been around for 20 to 25 years. These are amazing procedures, excellent success rates. 95% uh, of our patients are seeing 2020 with PRK and with LASIK. So they're great procedures. The smile. Is a, is a newer procedure. It has some nuances that are helpful in certain patients. I want to start out talking about PRK and LASIK, and then we'll get into SMILE, just so we can talk about the differences. So Austin, we're going to queue up uh, a video, an animation video, go ahead, of the PRK procedure. With PRK, we are removing the surface layer of cells. So the, the cornea, the window on the front, has skin cells there, okay? We remove those gently after a solution of alcohol and we sort of peel back those cells and that exposes the permanent tissue of the cornea. This is where we're going to use the laser now to re-sculpt for the prescription for each patient. It's customized. And then once the laser is done, we place a contact lens on the eye. That contact lens is serving the purpose of a bandage. There's no prescription in it. It's helping the healing process. That surface has to heal. Those skin cells have to heal. And that takes about four days. The vision is fluctuating significantly during that time. It's light sensitive, tearing intermittently. Um, when we take the contact lens out, the discomfort's gone, but the vision will take several weeks to stabilize out. PRK has been around for 25 years. It's the first laser uh, correction procedure that was invented. We still use it in certain situations for higher corrections and for patients that have relatively thin corneas. Let's compare that now with the LASIK procedure. We're going to cue that animation up. The issue with PRK is the long recovery time. We're removing those surface layer of cells. So someone very creative thought about creating a flap into the permanent tissue that can be done with a blade system, which is the original technique you see on the left here. We don't use that very much anymore. Or with a laser, as you see on the right-hand side. We lift the flap up. We use the, the laser that we did with PRK to reshape, very, very similar, customized to each patient. We then replace the flap, comes back down, and now the surface is primarily intact, except for right at the edge of the flap. The edge of that flap takes about four hours to heal instead of four days, and the vision is excellent on day one. So LASIK is the preferred technique for most patients to correct nearsightedness with astigmatism. And we can correct high levels and high levels of astigmatism with that. That brings us to now the SMILE procedure. This was FDA approved in September of 2016. It's been used uh, throughout the world in over 600,000 cases. We can go ahead to the SMILE video here now. This procedure, it's actually been performed in, in over 62 countries as well. This procedure uses only the laser that creates the flap for LASIK. But instead of creating a flap, we're creating a lens-shaped piece of material within the cornea. We create a very, very small tunnel incision we reach in, we dissect, and we pull out that lenticule-shaped material, and that performs the correction for the nearsightedness. The advantages here are that very small tunnel incision, probably takes one to two hours to heal, and because we're not making a large flap, we're not affecting the nerves as much, so dry eye is significantly less of an issue. Both PRK and LASIK have dry eye associated with them for on average about three to six months after surgery. 
It looks like with Smile, that number drops down significantly. That's important because folks are on computers a lot, you tend not to blink as often, and the eye dries out. So Smile is very, very nice for patients with pre-existing dry eye. It also allows us to potentially treat higher corrections because of that very small tunnel incision. So it's FDA approved up to minus eight uh, diopters of nearsightedness, um, but we can treat in, in very specific situations slightly higher than that, even up to minus 10. Now we do not use SMILE for astigmatism correction. Astigmatism is where the cornea, the window on the front, has a football shape. Like our Bruin football here, okay? If you have a lot of astigmatism, we use LASIK for that and it does a great job. But if you just have nearsightedness, um, we typically use it for moderate to higher corrections and we're very excited to have the technology. Uh, it only works with one laser in the world right now, which is the one you see over my left shoulder here, made by Zeiss. It's called the Visumax. And it's the only laser that has the precision to create that lenticule-shaped material with the laser. So those are our procedures. Um, and I think uh, we've got several kind of general questions um, Austin, what do we have on our list there that we wanted to talk about? We covered how it differs from LASIK, the types of uh, patients that uh, we would treat with, with, uh, with SMILE at this point. What other questions do we have on there? All right, so first um, I'm going to be pulling up a video that shows the, the beginning of the procedure where the flap, the flap slash lenticule is made. Can you kind of explain what is going to be going on during this process? Okay, so what we have here is this is actually a live surgical video or a surgical video of a live patient that we did just on Saturday. What you're seeing here is the creation of the lenticule. This laser fires 500,000 shots a second. What you're seeing, that whitening, those are gas bubbles, tiny little gas bubbles created in the cornea. That's the back surface of the lens uh, material that we're going to remove. Now you're going to see it come from the center out that's the front surface of the lens material that we're then going to remove from the eye. And you see that come outside of the original back surface cut. And if you look really carefully, you'll see at the very bottom it brightens up. That's the tunnel incision down at the bottom. And so it takes about 40 seconds to perform the laser procedure. And we can shut that off. Um, and then I do the dissection where we're going to actually remove that lens piece, uh, that lens uh, shaped piece of material from the cornea. Once we're done with that, we put some drops on the eye, and that's it. We move on to the second eye. All right, so you've begun to kind of explain what SMILE is and how does it work. Um, could you go a little bit more in depth on some of the benefits compared to PRK and LASIK, and uh, when, when will people kind of see this as the better option for them? Absolutely. You know, it's very important to understand SMILE is another tool we have. Certain patients, PRK and LASIK, actually make more sense. I think SMILE is going to find its way into the moderate to higher patients with nearsightedness, with minimal astigmatism. Uh, that's really the sweet spot, especially patients that have significant dry eye that we may decide to defer PRK or LASIK because of that dry eye will get a bit worse for three to six months. SMILE, we believe we're going to have less, less of an issue with the dry eye, and that's been shown in studies done throughout the world. Wonderful, thank you. Um, so what has your experience been with SMILE? Have you been seeing good results? Uh, what, kind, what can patients kind of expect? And um, talk a little bit more about your experience with it, seeing as you were the first to perform it in California. Yes, you know, the recovery time is slightly slower than LASIK. Um, the vision on day one is about 85 to 90% of where it's gonna end up kind of looking through a ground glass window a little bit for a few days. The really nice thing is the scratchiness that we have with LASIK that lasts for about four or five hours typically goes away within one or two hours with SMILE because again that tunnel incision is so small and that's the only part that comes to the surface. And so that we need the surface to heal to avoid that scratchy feeling. So that actually uh, occurs faster than LASIK. All right, and so in your experience you were having uh, good results. Um, was is there any advice that you give um, for either patients or fellow uh, doctors about performing this surgery and anything that you learn from the experience that would be beneficial for someone else? 
Right, that's a great question. You know, we, we talked about one of the issues already. We have to have this laser right here uh, to perform SMILE. There are no other lasers that are currently able to do that in the world. Um, it is also very important to have a surgeon who is experienced with creating flaps with this laser. This laser does a great job with flaps as well. We've done thousands of those. So that experience actually helps the new SMILE surgeon uh, develop his technique which is actually very straightforward when you have that experience. Okay, now how, as a new patient, how will you find somebody or a surgeon who is qualified to perform SMILE, how, or in general, how do you go about finding a surgeon who might be best for you in your given prescription or circumstances? Right, I think that you know, there's a lot of uh, folks out there doing surgery. You know, we have uh, two different websites uh, that, that talk about these techniques. We're about to put a lot of SMILE information on the websites. Um, the Zeiss website also has a fair amount of information on SMILE, um, but I think you know, when you're looking at doing consultations and you're calling up different centers, you should, you should ask uh, you know, if that, that, that particular center is experienced in SMILE, because it's nice to have those three different options so that the surgeon can customize the treatment uh, for your particular correction. I think we're going to close up with a video uh, testimonial of one of my first patients that we did just this past Saturday. Uh, I think Austin has it uh, set up. It's the day one visit, um, which was on Sunday. And so we're gonna close with that patient experience video. Well, actually I was just here for my pre-op and uh, when I came in, I got a surprise from someone, uh, a representative from here, and who said, you know, we have this new procedure, it's called SMILE, and I'm like, I didn't come here for dental, <laughs> but, you know, and, and so they explained the procedure and how um, it was a little bit better than the LASIK uh, procedure. Um, I had a little bit of trepidation at first, but then I was like, you know, after I heard everything and how it was less invasive um, and how it will be a little bit quicker in terms of recovery, I was like, it's for me. Yeah. Tell me about the procedure itself, how it was for you, like going through it. Yeah. Um, it was really good. The procedure was um, a little bit less scary than I expected, um, you know, because I was talked through it. It's one thing to hear about how the surgery is going to be, but then you experience it. So um, initially, it was everything that you kind of prepped me for, you know, sort of stay zombie like, don't move. Yeah, don't. And, and I was <laughs> like, I'm going to adhere to everything that he's telling me. Um, but yeah, and I actually thought that I was going to be moved from one place to the next. That didn't happen. It was just like really like boom. It was so fast that the person who came with me was like, I can't believe you're done. Like 10 minutes. And, you know, my family, they're waiting and they're like, you're done. Like, are you Excellent. serious? But the procedure itself um, was very comfortable. Um, you know, as long as you follow the directions and instructions, you're good to go. And um, it, I didn't feel any pain. Uh, very painless. Um, Excellent. And I just felt comfortable. So. Great. All right. Austin, thank you for putting together all those videos. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, we would love to see you here at the UCLA Laser Refractive Center. You can visit us um, at uclaser.com. We also have uh, our Facebook page, which is UCLA EYE, UCLA I. And uh, hope to see you soon. I would be remiss if I didn't mention the Bruins going for the Final Four. They're starting out on Friday up in Sacramento. Go Bruins! Thanks so much for joining us.